Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today we have come back to Pennypack on the riverfront. Uh, the reason we're back here is similar to the reason I was here the first time. The first time I came here, it was to see this abandoned boat that was right there on the river, uh, on the Delaware River. And um, I've been told uh, last night when I did my live feed, I can't remember if it was in the comments or if it was on the live feed, I think it was in the comments. Somebody had mentioned that that boat had burned. Now, I don't know if they meant it was just set on fire or it burned down. I don't know, but I had to come see it. I knew I had to make a video today. That was the whole purpose of doing my live feed last night, which was to, to get ideas of places in the far northeast to go to. And um, when I heard the news of this, I just had to come check it out. So let's get in there and see this thing. All right, even though it's a lot greener now than it was, uh, it's it's not as grown up as I thought it would be and I can see that they are planning on planting trees or something back there that's very very cool something we actually just did at Neshaminy State Park in the last week we planted 50 trees so let's hope that they all take they're gonna be very very beautiful and I gotta say I am amazed at how little trash I'm seeing on the ground Thus far, I'm not seeing really anything. I saw one little thing back there on the right, but that was it. And as I was pulling up into the parking lot, I saw uh, one of the uh, employees here being dropped off at his car. So, you know, there are people that are taking care of this part, which is good to know. Because there is a lot of people here today. It's a very nice day. It's pretty hot. It's like uh, 82, so it's not like scorching hot, but you know, definitely uh, sweaty weather. All right, we're coming up onto the beach. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was set on fire. Wow. Gotta wonder if that was done intentionally in efforts to get rid of it. big difference I mean it wasn't in the best shape to begin with but man it's still leaking out the back <laughs> wow let me set my water down here now if you watched the last video um, you saw that we were able to see into the windows and everything. The windows were all knocked out. And we were, we were able to see in here into the cabin. However, there is no cabin anymore. And all over the rocks here, I'm guessing this is the uh, part of the fiberglass body. Actually looks like hair everywhere. Let's see if we can no, no hope of seeing inside of there at all. Wow, yeah, because it looks like all hair here. So that's the fiberglass. Name is still there, though. Wow, man. I mean, it's possible that somebody could have just done this. It could have been like uh, vandalism of sorts. I guess it falls under the category of vandalism. And uh, then again, it could have been could have been done intentionally, maybe in hopes of burning it down completely seems like the tide is out a little more now than it was when I came here last time because I couldn't get this side. Yeah, you can still smell smell the, the burnt parts of the boat. Delaware's a little murky today. Or maybe it always is here. I don't know. 
you know me, normally if I'm seeing the Delaware on a regular basis, it's way, way down there in uh, the Chamonix State Park. Wow. Yeah, I just had to check this out. Like, I didn't know if it was just going to be like a rumor or maybe there was like a little fire or something, but now this wasn't just little. I'm sure this was like a like huge flames and smoke everywhere. If anybody has any pictures of that um, or video footage of this thing burning, please feel free to go to my Facebook, um, facebook.com slash this is Tom's world and shoot me a picture and a message. Be curious to see how high the flames got. I'm sure the fire was like huge and the flames were like really, really tall on this thing. Wow. You know, and a, uh, a local, another local YouTuber, the Philly Captain, and I've mentioned him a few times. Um, he, he actually did videos on this boat. Uh, it was, you know, satire type videos and stuff, but uh, yeah, he's not going to do that again, huh? <laughs> and John, if you're seeing this, this is, this is crazy stuff. I expected it to just be here and like wither away little by little over the years. So I had to come here and see that, but I'm gonna see how much of the park I can also walk around in. Now technically right here, I don't think on the beach here would be part of the park. And I know down that way, that thing is like uh, more private property or maybe it's not used anymore. But, I don't know if that's what it looked like the last time I was here. I could swear there was something that went out further and it kind of looked like a ship a little bit. And somebody told me what it was. Off the top of my head right now, I can't remember. Wow. I keep looking at the boat. It's crazy. Alright, well, let's go back down that trail and, uh, We'll check out that little strip of land that extends out to the river and then see how far I can go down on the other side of it. Well, I'm guessing that land where that little dock is is not unused because there's like a mountain of dirt here and I can hear things going on over there. So I'm guessing that is still used by someone something. I never really bothered to look up what it was because, well, I wasn't going there. You hear all that? So the only reason that I said, you know, we'll see how far I can get on the other side of that little strip of land is I am a little pressed for time. I wanted to get out here earlier today, but that didn't happen. The reason being, uh, we're having a termite problem at my house and I had to try to get it under control, at least for now. And then, you know, I could stop at Home Depot on the way home, get some stuff to take care of them permanently, hopefully. If not, my coworker, I ran into him on the way here at Wawa. He said that he might have something that could help or that should eliminate them completely. I believe I was told that this area here uh, on either side of this strip of land used to be docking for boats but apparently it doesn't get very full of water anymore <laughs> unless they you know unless they filled it with the intention of it drying out can't really say I guess this is further evidence that there used to be docks here in case there was a fire here's that strip of land we'll go out to the end there's some people here, so they're gonna be like, you know, look at this crazy guy talking to his phone. <laughs> it's a little windy here, so sorry if it's a lot of noise. Uh, but there's a view of the other side of the boat. And you can see, the tide doesn't go in too much, but I think it's coming in, obviously. I mean see the waves got an old boat 
launch here. And then there's up north. So up past here, you got Linden Ave. And then up further from that, you have uh, Station Ave, uh, the River Access, and Ben Salem. And then past that would be uh, Neshaminy State Park, a place we're all familiar with. <laughs> Also been even further up to Washington's Crossing, too. So in an effort to save on time, um, I actually got in my car and drove further down the road and came down here. It's also partially due to laziness, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a bit hot out. And this YouTuber needs to, uh, needs to drop some pounds. <laughs> got my beer belly going on. So, got to see what I can do about that. I mean, there's the obvious solution. Stop drinking beer. Don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I could switch to light beer, which is what I drink when I go out anyway, but also just have to get more exercise in. Eat right. Anyway, enough rambling about me. So where we were was way down that way. And up here is more of like a picnic area. There's pavilions and stuff like that and uh, you know, it's pretty well taken care of there is some trash around but we're having been working at a park now for as long as I have I understand where there's gonna be tables and trash cans there's gonna be trash it just happens but that's what the maintenance employees are for somebody out there on a boat like a little speed boat. Little benches to rest on. Eventually shady. They got some baseball fields back there too, which is pretty cool. Very rocky shoreline. I see there's a, uh, a gate up there with an open fence. I guess that pretty much marks the end of the park, but the gate's open, so we're going through it. So in that last clip, uh, I don't know if you took notice uh, right before I, I cut to the scene here, uh, there, was, there was a woman walking in the, in the far background, and um, as we passed, I made sure to turn the uh, camera off, and she spotted my gimbal. And she wanted to know, you know, what it was. I was explaining it to her. And she said, oh, wow, well, that's really neat. And she said, are, are you a professional, uh, you know, video person? I said, well, no. I mean, <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. If that means I'm professional, then cool. But, hmm. What do we do here? There's a path that goes along the river there. And then there's a paved path. Anyway, that lady was like the nicest lady. She really was. I meet the nicest people in, in the oddest of areas. All right, so down that way, it just looks kind of open. There might be some benches down there, I'm not sure, but let's take the more interesting path. Some new trees here. Always good to see. Got signs along the way. Now I believe it was down in this area or it might be on the other side where the paved path is. Um, I was told that there's some eagle's nests and that, that woman that I just met, she told me that somebody spotted a family of eagles. So I'll see if I could try to keep a lookout for them but I might not be on the wrong, or I might not be on the right side of this hill to see them but we'll see. Now this is kind of cool because there was obviously a structure here of some kind. I mean, maybe it was just a wall. It kind of looks like that's what it was. Huh. Still cool. May not be ancient history that we just saw, but history nonetheless. This is really nice back here. You go through shade and sun. 
and it's pretty very green one of the uh, more recent types of litter <laughs> face mask at least in the last few years anyway I don't know how far back I'm going to go with this because well like I said I'm a little pressed for time I still have to make that stop at Home Depot and also got to get food for dad's dinner this is definitely cool back here though nice place to just take a walk but that was the intention so see I like these kind of trees too the ones with, that are like really ultra like vibrant when they when they blossom at first a butterfly just landed up there black and orange maybe he's a Flyers fan <laughs> I doubt it but you know Then it would seem that the uh, trail by the river almost meets up, meets up with the uh, paved path, which goes off that way. You can see it going up the hill. But it also turns right. So that's what we're going to do. See how far this goes down. You know, I might as well keep going at this point. It's weird, just on the inside here, from where I turn left, just this slab of concrete oh, I'm sure it was something at some point but don't know if anybody knows let me know in the comments there's a little uh, footbridge here I think I saw that in other videos of people being here but if you look further down under the bridge see if I can get a good shot of it there's like a uh, a little water tunnel down there it's flowing right into here Let's see if we can I don't want I don't want to inch out too far you know <laughs> but it's right right there there's a little bit of water flowing out of there wonder if we can get across this bridge even halfway across it would be cool you know what? I bet I know what was on that concrete slab. Probably a table. Because there was bolts in in the concrete. And these tables are bolted to it, so. There we go. Uh, there's a gate on the footbridge there. Hard to tell if it's opened or closed. We'll find out momentarily. Oh no, <laughs> it's closed. See Baxter Trail, Pennypack Creek Bridge, open Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend. Oh, so kind of like the pool over at Neshaminy State Park. I mean, there is a little trail off to the side of here that continues down, but that's eventually going to take me back up to like State Road. Would have been cool to get on this bridge though. Check out at least halfway across. Pretty awesome. All those new trees planted in there. Doing a lot of planting around here. I mean, those trees could be from last year or last season, but they all still have cages around them, which means they're fairly new. Some wetlands over there. All in all, I'd have to give this park a pretty high rating. You know, you don't see you don't see too many parks this size around here. I mean, yeah, there's Pennypack Park itself, which this is part of technically, but still, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. Plus, I, I give the uh, people that work in this park a high rating as well, as there's not a whole lot of trash just in the uh, the main picnic area and that's 
you know, it's something to expect. So for everyone who was not able to make it to my live feed last night, um, there were there was a big announcement. My uh, my merch shop is finally up, and uh, you'll probably be able to see some of the products below the description of this video. But also in the description, you'll find the link to go right to the merch shop. Still though, it was a nice uh, nice little hike. You know, got to get some walking in in an effort to help that uh, beer belly. But yeah, definitely do check out the merch shop, even if you uh, even if you wind up not purchasing anything. Right now, there's just one design, and that's my logo. But in time, I will be putting up other designs. Maybe little sayings. Stuff like that. Eh, you know, normal stuff for a merch shop. Do like it down here though one thing i have not seen though which is weird because i've seen it in every other wooded area and park and and it, they could be out there i just didn't see them groundhog holes i haven't seen a single one well i'm just about getting back to where the gate is which means i'm not far from my car so I will take the opportunity to say thank you for coming along on this semi-new adventure as the wind kicks up. And thank you for coming along on all of my adventures and liking my videos and commenting on them. Please feel free to give this one a thumbs up. I could use the, uh, the help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to it. That way you'll be sure to be notified when I upload new videos. Or go live. Which, in the last couple months, I've done a lot a lot more lives than I used to. So, and, and they're fun. You know, we talk about local history. Give suggestions. Places to check out. I know last night we all had a lot of fun. But true to form, right when I'm getting ready to wrap up the video, or the live feed, I should say, more people came in. <laughs> and all that does is encourage me to stay longer so I wound up staying a little bit longer than an hour but uh, it was still a good time and I appreciated everybody's comments so with that I guess I'll just wrap this up and uh, I'll see you all in the next one make sure you stay safe stay healthy and take care <laughs>